like outside of splashing distance. All right. Hi. Oh, that's really loud. Okay. I'm Allison Price. I work for the OpenStack Foundation. Hi, everyone. I'm Nicole Martinelli. I'm the editor of Super User. And welcome to how to contribute to Super User. So how many of you have visited Super User or read some of the articles or are kind of familiar with what it is? Yeah. Awesome. Well, then I'm excited to tell some of you what it is. Um, Super User is a, um, an online publication that we launched three years ago. Three years ago. And um, I'm hooked into my phone now, so this does display a little differently. Um, so here you can see some of the coverage that we've pulled from the summit. Um, we typically post four to five times a week, but something that we're really looking for is broadening our scope to think about open source. So we, I work for the foundation, and Nicole's really tied into the OpenStack community as well. But we really, starting at this year, talked internally and talked with a lot of different folks about what is SuperUser. And to date, SuperUser has been talking about OpenStack users who are not only deploying OpenStack in innovative ways at scale or just doing something really cool, but it's also these users that are contributing back to, um, back to the software in an upstream or downstream way. So we thought about that and we thought with you know, a lot of the collaboration that's been happening in other open source communities like Kubernetes, Cloud Foundry, um, not only among our users, but also among our developers, of broadening that scope. So we've started going to events, um, which Nicole can talk to you a little bit more broadly, but to really look at, you know, what have we, what learnings do we have from the OpenStack community that other communities are also starting to go through, or things that they're going through that maybe we aren't as familiar with. This ranges from case studies, so we feature not only OpenStack case studies, but also some from other technologies. Um, tutorials, which to date has been our most popular content. Um, and just kind of editorial thought leadership from folks that are participating in those communities or contributing to them. But I'll kind of let Nicole talk to it from an event standpoint of what we're kind of starting to get our feet wet with um, in terms of that. Yes, yeah, so now we're mo more focusing on the open infrastructure just as a concept, and we have been to the uh, Linux Foundation's Community Leadership Summit. We've been to Container World, and we're doing more things as in, in more of a journalistic fashion. Um, and what this means for you is that if you participate, and Kubernetes, so we have done some focus too for the Open Sock Summit, this time on the other communities participating. So there's that. Um, and what does this mean for you? How many of you like to write, just by show of hands? That's what I thought. Okay, so, right, no, but, so the nice thing is, um, you can contribute to super user and uh, gain your active user contributor status, but it's fairly straightforward. So they always tell you to write what you know about, and tutorials are our most uh, traffic content. So that is one way that if you are working on a tool or you're involved in some other community project, that's the easiest and fastest way. And from an editorial standpoint, that also means that we will just clean it up, make sure that it's all grammar, it looks, we'll make you look good and then we'll publish it. Now, if you want to do more of a piece where you're talking about a case story or it's something like your opinion on an event or something, we will work back and forth with you and um, we'll do it in a Google Doc. So you will not show up on Super User not knowing what you're going to look like if that's, if that's um, a thing. And the other thing that you need to know about Super User is that um, we are not an official publication of the OpenStack Foundation. So that's why you see all these little Lego things. It's, we're kind of the younger sibling. We tend to skew a little younger as an audience. It's like 25 to 34. A lot of people who are just getting involved in OpenStack. So this is kind of where they get started. So a lot of things that if you want to write something, you think like, well, everybody knows how to do that. They don't. And they probably would really like to hear about it. And you know, that's one of those things that if you're not really super keen on writing um, is easier to do. And one of the things, I, we were talking about this in Barcelona, is you know the, we have like 30 people in this room and every single person knows something different. And that's what I love about the OpenStack community and the other open source communities is that we, we do take our knowledge for granted and just knowing that, like she said, our, the reader base is, is skews younger, it's people that are new to the community. But even the folks that I've talked to from our community that go to SuperUser, they learn things that they're like, I never knew this was existed. Um, one actually was, I guess it was last July, and we had, we feature a lot of the different user groups around the world because there's really cool stories that come out of that. And we met someone from South Africa who had just launched his user group. It had six people 
they did a birthday party, and we, he told his story about how he, for his meetup group, he was putting paper flyers in their grocery store, how there they move so much slower because they don't have the infrastructure that we necessarily do um, in, um, in some of the other countries, and how difficult it was to get that concept of OpenStack, but it was finally starting to catch on, and um, Monty Taylor, who there's not a single person in the OpenStack community that doesn't know who Monty is, um, was talking to Lauren Sell and myself, and he was just like, you know, that was a really cool story, and he was tweeting about it. And I think that no matter how involved you are in the OpenStack community, those stories are out there. We have those stories. Every individual has those stories. So I think that, you know, this is where we can, this is the platform where we want to empower other community members, other people to share your stories. And I think that it can be daunting because we have, you know, users at scale that come in and do a really cool case study and it's, you know, CERN, you can't really compete with CERN. <laughs> but, you know, there that's not necessarily our most popular posts. We do have some that, um, I think, you, like really young people who are just getting their feet wet come contribute and those tutorials are really popular. We've gotten a lot of um, growing, we're growing in our engagement through comments, so we can come back and really kind of build some relationships that way and kind of help educate people on what you know as well. Yeah, that's another thing. I think there are a lot of things that are posts that you might not necessarily think are posts. So some of my favorite stories have been stuff that I've been seen on the mailing list or I've actually pulled somebody, you know, they do 10 or 15 ranty tweets about how to um, get your commit push through, that's a post. So a lot of things that you might not think are a post because you're kind of like, I'm just gonna dash off this thing to this mailing list about this project that we're doing or a meeting we're having or something that we're trying to get off the ground. And that's the other thing is if you're trying to do things that haven't quite gotten off the ground yet, we can amplify that for you. So try to think in terms of it doesn't have to be, you know, your five paragraph high school essay or a really complete tutorial. It can be something you know, it can be a, a script or a tool or something fast, quick and dirty as well, yeah. yeah. And then, so I know that at each summit until now, we've introduced a new concept, whether it's the awards you see in during the keynotes, we have a TV station downstairs that we do videos during the summit. Um, but there's, if you want to get even more involved, there are ways if you want to start trying to, you know, suggest more content but get really involved. We have an editorial board that um, is mixed up of a lot of different kinds of viewpoints, which we think is really valuable to make sure we do kind of think about the content in that way. And, the, you know, they, it ranges from people at AT&T and there's, I think there's someone at Comcast to someone who is just... Um, an upstream developer. So it's something, you know, we kind of get all of those different points of view so that we can make sure that our content also reflects the points of view in the community and also trying to kind of pull um, more people in from other communities as we start to build through this more open infrastructure kind of model of content that Nicole was referencing earlier. So what questions do you have for us? If any. Uh, no, you have questions. Come on. There's got to be something. Is anyone interested in contributing? Because uh, we can. We haven't scared you off yet. Yeah. That's why I think there has to be some kind of question. Because one of the things that we actually did in our Barcelona Lightning Talk that I really thought was valuable is just kind of just getting to know you as you know the folks that do want to contribute. If you do, because um, that's where we can build that relationship. And then we actually have gotten I think what four posts from someone we met in our Barcelona Lightning Talk. So it's definitely something we do want to build that relationship, and we want to. Um, Regardless of where you live, we're both really flexible and, you know, we want to talk to you guys and um, want to make this not formal. It's, that's not what we do. That's why we have Legos. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so we can just, we can talk to y'all instead of, we don't really have a presentation necessarily. We're not slide people. But, um, but yeah. I, you know, the open stack community is so rarely silent. I think this is, I'm, I'm almost afraid. All right. Yeah, we could also just like switch off the mic and yeah. chat. Good chat. So we're done. Yeah. Good.